like getting into playoff shape was like your playoff weight your regular season weight did you change your regimen at all did you change your diet training everything you looking like i'm talking crazy he's like absolutely so i think it's all the same i mean you know you got to be in shape you got to be locked in and then mm -hmm. especially i mean if you know you're going to the playoffs, your last 10, 15 games is when you, the regular season is when you really like, okay, so let, that's me, when you let me get my rhythm together. Let me make sure I'm locked in body and all that stuff because you don't really have time in the playoffs. You know, you're playing a game on Monday and then you might have Tuesday off and you go on Wednesday. You know, you're playing every other day, so you got to be locked in. So I mean, what do you start changing that 10, 15 games? I'm not yeah. really changing number of my preparation mentally, more or less, because you're locked in on one team instead of playing another team every other day or every, you know, every day. You're just kind of more locked in on the mental part of it, like what's mm -hmm. my job, what do I need to be doing, you know, what's going on, but you got to you gotta already be in shape and healthy. You know, you're taking care of your body a little bit more. You're making sure your body and all that stuff is good, but, you know, you, you got to be in shape. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like you're going to be like, okay, let me go run some extra miles before the playoff and get, you know, do some extra push-ups. No, nah, it ain't like that. Like, you got to be already, you know, like, you got to be in play. Like, by the time the playoffs come, everybody hitting all their shots. Everybody's right. stuff is smooth. You know, you can't be, like, uh, it sucks when I see some of these guys who probably missed the last 10, 15 games of the regular season. Like, yeah, he's going to come out for the playoffs. He's going to come back for the playoffs. And you're standing to yourself like, he's not going to be in the same playoff rhythm as these right. guys are in. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, he's these, behind. Yeah, he's behind. These guys are already in the rhythm. They ain't missed no games. Now, yep. he's coming in trying to catch up, trying to figure it out. And it's like, ah, you're trying to figure it out where on I our time. In. Yeah, where I fit mm -hmm. in at. You know, so it's, it's just so tough to kind of be trying to get ready during the playoffs. You got to be ready, uh, you know, leading up to the playoffs, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Shit. Only time I was in <laughs> during the regular season, <laughs> only time I was in playoff <laughs> mode, was when we went to San Antonio, Minnesota, and L.A. Lakers. That's the only time I was in playoff mode during the regular season. Only time where, you know, I I ain't go out really that night before. I ain't do too much smoking or drinking. But every other time, shit. <laughs> I'm, TD for ticket, Shaq. I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get my rest. I'm going to go ahead and get my rest that night. I see, hey, let me know how the club was, you know, whatever, you know, who all was out there, blase, blase, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm living vicariously through them them, them nights. But, and then, you know, it's, it's certain nights. It's like that where you got your, right. you got your rivals and matchups. Yeah, so, but playoffs, mean? playoffs, yeah, everything lock in. Like, during the regular season, my, my playing weight was, uh, as I got older, my playing weight was 265. Mm -hmm. So, during them years when I was with Detroit, so during the uh, playoffs, Dropped down to 255, so cut out the drinking, uh, wasn't smoking as much, you know, mm. did a lot more <coughs> cardio. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. And, uh, you know, did a lot more cardio and all that. So you drop that weight, you get in that playoff mode because now you know you're going to be running, you're going to yeah. have to give that extra uh, exertive energy to uh, dive on the floor or, you know what I'm saying, come help somebody or this or that. So. For me in the playoffs, um, yeah, it's definitely like Bonzi said, you know, you more locked in on on that either one particular matchup or that team, mm -hmm. depending on who it is, because you're going to have help. Like, I didn't, playing against Tim Duncan, playing against KG all those years, now I ain't do the shit by myself, so I'm not taking credit to be like, oh, I locked them motherfuckers up. No, it was a team effort, because they knew who the fuck I was going against, yeah. and they knew... As many times the motherfuckers got the ball and this and that, like, all right, like, yo, all you got to do, hey, talk to me. You see a whole lot of this. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. Like, let me know which way to push him and this and that. Right. So you got help when it comes to you guarding that, that specific key player during the playoffs because you know the ball won't go through him. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We knew KG was the main option. We knew uh, Tim Duncan was the main option. You know what I'm saying? And we, the ball's going to go through them. So, hey. Motherfucker, as, as the old cliche goes, help me help you. <laughs> help me, you know what I'm saying? Help me because yeah. you know what I'm dealing with down here, and I'm going to help you because at some point, you know, during either that playoff series, somebody else could get hot, or yeah. if it's during a regular season, oh, you're going to run into that motherfucking matchup. You gonna, I don't care who it is. You could be like point like, shit, Steph got – you know, his personal matchups where he's like, man, it's a problem guarding this person or that person. And shit, uh, uh, Bron got his matchups. Right. And, you know, everybody, you got your certain matchups where it's like, man, it's, it's going to be tough as shit tonight. Yeah. No matter how old you are, you know, in your younger career, I mean, the younger part of your career, middle part of your career. And, you know what I'm saying, if you able to become that veteran, mm -hmm. you going to have them motherfucking matchups. 100%.
who was yours? Did you have any like, okay, these nice, I gotta, I gotta get eight hours of shut eye. You know, it was just more of those, you know, I didn't really, I, you know, I, I liked the guard guys that was ISO guys. I hated like the Rip Hamiltons, the guys who running off the all screens. these screens, the Reggie yeah. Millers and guys that's running off them screens. I would rather be on an island guarding somebody and taking their they best, they, they move, their best move instead of just chasing guys. And you know, like Reggie Miller, you know, he was my favorite, one of my favorite players growing up in Indiana. And I just loved the way he'd just get to go in here, run off the Davis boys. You got Dale mm-hmm. Davis, Antonio Davis, all them big goons. And Rick you know, they, they, they hit you. Screens, oh man, man mm-hmm. they hit you like, and, and I hated guarding them. I mean, I dislocated so many of my fingers just trying to chase them and get around them screens. And then now you find yourself holding and pulling and tugging. Now your fingers getting caught up in their jerseys and now your fingers and stuff is all messed up because you're trying to be keep up with them because they running. Right. You know, but if you get somebody on some ISO stuff, they just catching it and now, you know, you just right like, there in front of you. Now yeah, your, right. your, your biggest thing is now I got to just take his first move. And then you got guys like Sheed and Pip and all them, which I loved them. They call out their move. Bombs, watch for the jab. Watch for the right. pump fake. Sit down. You know, they call on their move out because, you know, you're so locked in. Right. So I'd rather guard those guys than guard somebody that's putting you through that figure right. eight and running yeah. you. And, ah, 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 you. They faking this way and, ah, and they running you. Now you running. They stopping on the dime. And now you plowing over. Foul. Them, so, yeah, foul, <laughs> so, so those guys, so if you're playing against a guy like Rip and Reggie and, you know, old school Jesus Shuttleworth, like when Ray was like Milwaukee, Jesus. Milwaukee Ray. Yeah. Man, them dudes, you know, you're getting your rest. You know, like she said, you ain't doing all the extracurricular. That ain't, a, that ain't an option. You know what I'm saying? You're getting your rest. You, you Let me get them chicken fingers and fries, man. I'm to I, go. <laughs> I'll see y'all later, man. I'm, too, I'm, I'm in the room, man. I'll, I'll see y'all, man. You know, so that's kind of what it is. So those matchups. But like Garden Cove and all those guys that play on the wing, you, I, I love guarding those guys because you have so much help. And these guys are talking to you and they're telling you which way to push them. And then you really locked in on what they can and can't do. So you try to make them do some of the stuff they can't do, you know, mm. so that, those those guys are tough for me.